hello guys so welcome back to our youtube channel and to today i will explain you all about the hypothesis testing and the p values don't worry if these terms are very hard for you and you don't understand them in depth by the end of this video you will not only understand them but will you will also be able to apply in your real world data science projects so let's get started but before we jump into the details let's lay a solid foundation imagine you have a burning question in your mind if you change the color of your button in your website will that increase the user engagement on your website or not okay this is where we can apply the hypothesis testing hypothesis testing is like playing detective with the data it helps us decide whether our question is statistically significant or just a mere coincidence because we decide everything on the basis of the data in data science and statistics so there are two main hypotheses at play the first is null hypothesis and then alternate hypothesis the null hypothesis assume there is no significant effect if you change the color of the button but the alternate hypothesis states that there is a significant effect if you change the color of the button okay for instance let's say you are doing the ab testing on that button color your null hypothesis states that if you change the color there there will be no effect on the user engagement but your alternate hypothesis states that there is a effect on the user engagement if you change the button color so by collecting and analyzing the data for these two events we can determine which hypothesis holds true okay and here we can introduce the p values because p values are used in the hypothesis testing p values measure the strength of the evidence against the null value because at all the hypothesis testing or p values we have to uh, reject the null hypothesis uh, if we want to get the result of our desire okay so the p value measure that kind of strength so that we can reject the null hypothesis a low p value suggest there is a stronger evidence against the null hypothesis but a high p value suggest that there is a weak evidence against the null hypothesis and the threshold of the p value is always set to 0.05 okay so to calculate the p value let's just take a real world example Im imagine you are a coffee shop owner and you want to test if a new coffee blend increases customer satisfaction or not so here is the code of the python and by using python we can simulate the customer satisfaction score for the old blends and for the new blends okay and then we can conduct a t test on these old blends and new blends and calculate the p value okay so we can determine whether the new blend statistically improve the satisfaction or not and by running this code here are the results so as you see that this is how you can conduct the hypothesis testing or by using the p values on any kind of data that you have that you want to uh, check by using statistics okay so we covered everything about the hypothesis testing and the p values here so remember these concepts are the powerful tools that helps us to make informed decisions based on the data So next time if you face any kind of research question or business decisions make sure you will apply the hypothesis testing ab testing by using the p values thank you guys thank you for joining and in our next video we'll talk about the regression algorithms and the first video will be on the linear regression and a project on the linear regression that is explained by using the explainable ai so be with it let's meet in our next video thank you guys thank you so much